Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. I can't find the extra relay. Alright, we'll come back to it later. Our people have waited long enough.
No. No point in going back this way. I've gone over everything in that area. Found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. been there. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? Got someone. I'm following the signal. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Geological cross-section, measurements. These are Merritt's notes. <sighs> she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly.
think I know where I can find her. Signals coming from the castle of Backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit, Marit, wake Marit. up. Marit, wake up. Do you hear me? Doctor Marit? No, no Bates vital here. functions. What's going on? I need on? to. One, two. Find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. Cobble's next. Yes, I think so. We should be close. Do you think? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Status. Yes, sir. He's... He's... Koval? Don't do this to me. Oh. You're alive! Did you hear that, sir? Koval's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Koval? Koval? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouter's. Koval! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crouter's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Koval on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. Nah, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them, but it may take a while. Huh. Have you found?
found it? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah, found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. It all has to be related somehow. On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Some primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest, for some reason. I don't know, Astrogator. I'm trying to not go crazy here. Yeah, understandable. It's madness, really. Incomprehensible through and through. Especially what happened to our people. Sir! Yeah, right. My apology. Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. And Dr. Crowther doesn't. I have to go back for him. There's no need. I just regained control of the Androbot, so please leave it to me. I'll carry him as well as the... Dr. Marit's body. In the meantime, please focus on finding Gorski. I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down?
Sikorsky signal. So soon? It's unlikely to be him. Then who? You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides... You'll see. Okay. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. It wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I, I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging, and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. in a matter of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow shadow another sandstorm i guess all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly?
If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, be nice to have some company. I, I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. Oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. So, what's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Please enter Bull E. B-A-L-L dash E. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation area. The rest is underground. Please explore the area thoroughly. Just do as Dr. Gorski. Use the detector. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. First point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported by Dr. Gorski. All right. What happened next? He followed the branch to the right. Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Well, the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Bully. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. Oh, now I'm going to apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like?
There's the water. And the metal bundle? As expected. It's at the bottom. Before you ask, sir, there's little to say about it. All right. So how many are left? Two points. Or at least that's what he told Covel. What he did next? It's hard to assess. But the battery and the detector last for only a few hours. So he couldn't have gone much further. evidence that he was going this way. <laughs> Good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. I think we have the fourth point. The structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? To something? I'm leaning more and more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end. If it ends at all. is departing. Yes, they're on their way. So RT has transported Dr. Crowther. Affirmative. He's in the lander. <laughs> How if, uh, if the robot didn't find him in the tent? How's that? The doctor was already some distance from the camp. I think he was following you, Yasna. Sir, why didn't you say anything? The androbot located him quickly enough. I thought it was pointless to worry you. Oh, thank goodness he's safe now. Ah, I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Koval noted down the parameters. Azimuth 350. Distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Uh, it's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... Uh... When it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose the probe will carry out the first task. It's capable yet? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. 